Hey guys, welcome back to New Breed Film Reviews. We're on episode 112. We're back as promised. Uh, this is Dave. Brian's on a podcast, of course. What's up, guys? I uh, wanted to let you know that I'm still alive. I'm still out there. He's still alive. <laughs> I can still talk. Paul's still alive. Uh, Gian's alive. We're all, we're yep. all alive. We're all alive. Yep. Gil's alive. <laughs> Gil's just, alive. You can, hear him, you can hear him other places, but... The newest recruit, I just, uh, Don's alive. Like, things have been a little crazy. You know, I'm not making excuses out there, but, you know, I, uh, family man and I got the, uh, business running. I think we've talked about it before. I got, um, videography business I run on the side and wedding season is nuts for me. I still, I still have four weddings right now that I got to edit. And, uh, when it comes down to it, I got to take every possible free second to edit that stuff and push it through. And, but, uh, my dead season's coming up from, uh, January on, you know, there's no weddings there. I get back and I'm watching movies. I told Dave, you know, he's like, we got to breathe life back into this again. I was like, I'm all down for breathing life back into this. I said, but I got to be able to sit down and watch a movie. <laughs> Once I can sit down and watch a movie or even a television show for the whole time, I'm down for talking. And just lately, in the last couple months, it's been, it's been nuts, but I, uh, got to see a new movie that's out there. We're going to, we're going to talk about this. Uh, I got to go out a little after opening weekend to go check it out. I'm glad to be able to get on here and talk about it with you, Dave. Yeah, for and, sure, uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, so, so and we'll try to keep it back to <clears throat> regular scheduled programming where we can get it in there. Um, maybe until January, we'll try to get as much regular content as we can up there. Uh, with me and Dave conversating back and forth, Dave's going to do a pretty good job of uh, putting up probably solos as soon as the movie comes out, and then I might have to catch up with him a little after with when the new movie is there, and then we can fill in that stuff. We can get Pauly back on here. We can bug him for it. Yeah. We can uh, talk about that Pauly bet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you, want to go into it, you want to go into it right now, and then I'm going to call you out live sure. on air for your bet. Sure. We'll get into that. Paul's going to listen to this, and uh, I'm not <laughs> rubbing it in, Paul. But first, for you listeners, um, <clears throat> iTunes is going to like hold probably like – Let's say 15 to 20 current episodes. Uh, if you guys want to listen to other reviews, just go on YouTube. We're going to have all our, all our, blah, blah, all of our archive stuff on YouTube. So, you know, you could type in new breed film reviews and the movie and it'll pop up on iTunes. So you could, uh, YouTube. I'm sorry. Um, so you could subscribe on YouTube for those archived episodes and, um, our current ones are going to be on iTunes. So are now the old ones on there. <clears throat> oh, like dude, really, really, since, so like if you go back anybody that's relatively new for listening to us if you go back to youtube and actually check out the first like 10 episodes was it the first 10 mm -hmm. dave would have us recorded live for video feeds and he would have like these little anim animations and stuff like that come on screen it was pretty funny yeah like i remember the jeff goldblum one <laughs> on the <laughs> where they were going to make a dread <laughs> We made a prediction that they're going to make a Jeff Goldblum Jurassic or T Rex, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's going to come out and attack one. people for Jurassic Park mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, uh, those pretty... are fun, man. They take yeah. a lot of shitload of work, though. Excuse I know they French. take a lot of time to edit it together, man. but those are fun. Those are if you go back to the very, very beginning, those are fun ones to watch. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, like all our stuff is on YouTube. Um, I'm in the process of getting them all up. I think we're up to. Um, episode 60 something or the 70 archived ones you know the first 70 so uh i'm gonna get the rest of them up there eventually it just takes a little time but uh our newer episodes will be on itunes again so guys subscribe if you haven't and uh, leave us feedback and hit up our social media um newbie from reviews but on to this bet so <clears throat> there's been a couple of bets going on as a little trend that we're doing so we're making bets on movie ratings and we're, we're using Ron Tomatoes as like the benchmark. And, um, I had a bet with Bry and what was it on, dude? Nerve. Nerve. And you said it was going to be below 50%. <laughs> Damn, dude. That just straight crapped on your movie. Um, yep. and it wasn't, it was like what, no. 70 something? Yeah. It was like seventies, I think. So I lost that bet. So yeah. the bet was. Um, Brian had to watch a movie of my choice and I had to watch a movie of his, ch his choice. And I got stuck with finding, I, <laughs> I called it finding Dora before, but it's finding Dory. So I have and to. I picked this for you guys that are listening. 
if you've followed us for a very long time, Dave personally hates animated movies. <clears throat> and I keep trying to tell him there's some really good animated movies out there. And I'm trying to tell him, you watched Finding Nemo. I dragged you out to the movie theater to go check it out. I and you liked it. it. Yeah. Yeah. So I told him Finding Dory is a good one. He needs to check it out. I liked Finding uh, Nemo. You know, I got well, in. We're talking about, <clears throat> call him out right now. We're talking like, what is this, like two months ago? This is like summertime. Was it? Yeah. Oh, man, I got to suck it up. I was going to watch it uh this past weekend or the one before, and um <clears throat> I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you forgot, I'm sure. So, but I got to suck it up. And I, I like, I find it is like wasting two hours of my damn life. It's not. It's a good movie. <laughs> like, I feel like when, I, when I'm in my deathbed, I'm going to think about Finding Dory. <laughs> Finding Dory. And I'm going to be like, can I get those two hours back? Finding Dory got a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. They also gave Arrival 100%. And I, I saw that over the weekend. Guys, it's not 100%. I'm sorry. It's not. I may get into that a little bit briefly. But anyway, so that's uh the bet between Brian and I. And then I had one with Paul. And that one was on Doctor Strange. And I was like, I said, okay. If it's 90% or higher after a week being released on Rotten Tomatoes, um, you got to buy me a movie of my choosing. And then if it's 89% and lower, I got to hook him up with a Blu-ray. So a week later, it was like on the 11th, it was like 90, excuse me, 90%. And um, I knew it was going to do good because it was released in Europe first and it was like already 90, like mm-hmm. based on that release. I said, oh man, there's no way it's going to drop. It's going to go up. <coughs> so... It turned out to be um one of Marvel's top three highly rated movies. So it's right. it's it's kicking butt in the box office. You called it too. You actually said it was uh gonna be ranked up there with Iron Man, the first yeah. Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I had that funny feeling with it, man. Um and more because of like okay, so I'm a comic dork, but not to the extreme, but I'm familiar with Doctor Strange and I know he's like a big you know, he's a, he's a big character in the Marvel universe. He's very powerful. So I didn't think they were going to do like an injustice kind of movie. I thought they were going to do a quality movie for him. And it's Benedict Cumberbatch, Cumberbach, Apple. Uh, you know. I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> I think it's Cumberbatch. Uh, I think it's Cumberbatch. Too. I'm just going to be fancy and say Cumberbach. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um he's in it and he's a fantastic actor. He's not going to do garbage, you know. So I had a great feeling about it and um the budget was 165 million. They did not skimp. No, and they did not. No, that's especially a lot of money. Especially the CGI. Oh. I guarantee you a huge amount of that budget was CGI. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I I think it's the best effects out of all the Marvel movies. That's I me though. I would say though. so. Mm-hmm. That's me though. It was it was the the mystical matrix. That's, that's what I call it. It was, it was crazy, man. It was like psychedelics, like took some shrooms. Um, uh, it was crazy, but I was thinking that when you're in there, like how many tricked out druggies went there and oh then had like God, a panic dude. attack in the middle of that. Jeez. Like um, the not we're not talking spoilers. So we'll wait, we'll wait just like we normally do. And we'll talk full on spoilers. We'll talk generalities, but we'll talk about that. Yeah. That one scene that was creepy. <laughs> well, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's the, yeah. the weirdest freaking scene, dude. It was so odd. Yeah. Um, but to touch on some numbers, uh, it made, it, the budget was 165 million and it, it's currently at 494 million in the box office. <clears throat> wow. So that's pretty huge. Um, some of the ratings, uh, IMDb gave it an eight out of ten. Um, that's kind of low to me. Uh, Rotten eight Tomatoes, 10, yeah. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a ninety percent. That's pretty on point. Metacritic seventy two percent, which is absurd. Uh, it's PG thirteen. Uh, who cares a shit about Metacritic anymore? <clears throat> Metacritic is Metacritic. off. Yeah, they're shitty. They don't know yeah. anything about any movies. They, they probably like, voted for Trump. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> don't make it political up on here. I'm not, guys. Don't unsubscribe because it was a joke. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Um, <laughs> so what else? Uh, okay. So it stars Benjamin Cumberbach and I know you guys are probably screaming, batch, batch, <laughs> batch. I'm, yeah. I'm calling him Cumberbach. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> um, Chiwetel, man, this guy got a, uh, he, his name is hard. Chiwetel Ejiofor and he was in 12 years of slave. He's a good actor. He Benjamin Bratton. He's looking hurt. 
Mm-hmm. Benjamin Bratt's looking old. Um, Scott Atkins, love that guy. B level action star. Mads Mikkelsen, he's a good actor. Wait, who was Scott Atkins? Scott Atkins was one of the henchmen. One of the, oh, was, the trio. was he the one that was gotten the? <clears throat> well, we'll get into that in spoilers. He was fighting with him the in the astral plane. With the what? He was fighting him in the astral plane. Remember that there were like spirits and and they were like fighting. In oh the, yeah, in the lab. Or yep. the, the, oh yeah. No. Okay. That, oh, my bad. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Um, so that was Scott Atkins and he's so underrated, man. I feel so bad for him. Like he's, he's, he's good. That I didn't guy, him, though. man, if you guys don't know who Scott Atkins is, he's an amazing martial artist, does his own stunts. I mean, just amazing. And yeah, what's the um, movies to follow him on? Undisputed Three. He plays yeah. this Russian fighter Yuri Boyka. Amazing fighting movie. If you're into fighting flicks, um, he was in a few of the un- uh, one or two of the Universal Soldier movies. And he he's just so underrated, man. He's such a good uh, action star. You know, um, it's crazy, but he's just B level, and it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but back to the actors, uh, Tilda Swinton's in this. I'm like, I'm like weirdly attracted to her. You are. You are. I've you said have this a weird before. attraction for that kind of like odd European, <clears throat> like Mila Djokovic. Oh, she's like, oh, okay. She's oh okay God, in my book. Dude. Oh my God. She's, dude, she's for you, so she's hot. like a 10, but. I, I've said this on air too. Um, the chick who, uh, Lena Hetty in the movie Dread. Like, I'm not talking to actress. I'm talking about, Mama, Mama, like the Mama. character. She's hot. She's got <laughs> gray teeth. I don't even care. With scars on her face and she's smoking, dude. I don't know what it is. When she said, skin them, like she doesn't care. I like bad girls. I don't know what it is. <laughs> bad girls, big noses, right? Hey, I, I don't know. Define noses. You like that, yeah, <clears throat> like that, not big noses, but you like that European, that like, that big European nose. I do. I do. I do. Let's not, uh, let's not get into details there with that. Okay. Um, <laughs> she was really good in Constantine. Um, um, and she was also really good on. No, Ra- that was Rachel Wise. Oh. You're gonna mix Le- Lena Headey's in Game of Thrones. She's, um, the one that gets all Jerry Springer with, uh, her brother, uh, Jamie Lannister. Is she <clears throat> in, um, What's that Ice she, Train movie with Chris Evans? She was in too. 300. She was uh, Gerard Butler's wife. Um, I don't know if she was in that movie you mentioned. No, no, no. I'm talking about T- Tila. What's oh, her name? Oh, T- Tilda Swinton? Yeah. The she weird was in Const- one? She was playing Gabriel, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I did not find her attractive in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> she was also in the Ice Train movie. With Chris Evans, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was very weird in that, too. She plays a lot of... She's a character uh, actress. Yeah. She's pretty good. She's pretty good. In this one, she played the ancient one. And people were, like, hating on her, dude. Like, because... You know they, who? Hmm? Okay. Because the ancient one, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a male, like, in the comics. And they were, like, you know, they were hating on her. And it's, like, come on. They change stuff in the movies all the time, you know? You know who was in the talks? I, I was looked up a couple of facts on Doctor Strange, and I'll interject them as as I can. But you know who was actually in the talks of playing that role, which I thought would have been pretty cool. Cuba Morgan Green. Freeman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, he actually would be yeah. pretty good. He would have been real good for it. But, he's old though. He's oh, real old right dude, now, dude. <laughs> man, dude. Yeah, he's he's as they say, one foot in the grave, one on a banana peel. Like he's uh, <laughs> he's old. You know who I find inc- extremely attractive was uh, or is Rachel McAdams, the main girl. Damn, my brain is so foggy right now. Probably because I don't get sleep and I wake up at five in the morning. Who the heck is she? The redhead in the movie. His like love interest. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. She's pretty attractive. That's my type right there. But she, she was in the Notebook. Her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But she's the one with the mole, right? Yes. Okay. I just kept thinking Austin Powers, Molly, 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 <laughs> Molly. It's distracting, but she, she's pretty attractive. She's, she's also pretty. a good actress. Like she's in a lot of stuff. Like she's been in a ton, a ton of movies. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, she's Ever good. Ever since she got that notebook role, it kind of like took off for her. Mm-hmm. I, I think one of the up and coming ones, uh, I like her a lot. Um, ah, oh God, she's a redhead. I call her the new Julie, uh, Julia Roberts. Uh, 
not Amy Adams that she was in Arrival. No, um, the other girl from uh, Mad Men. Jessica Man, Chastain. Right? Yeah. Jessica Chastain. She was in Interstellar. She was uh, yep. Murph. Murph. Yeah. Talk to me, Murph. <clears throat> she's hot. But I like her. Actually. This is Rachel McAdams. I think she's good. She's pretty good. She was yeah. in Thor, I think, too, right? No, no, she wasn't in Thor. She was in The Fighter. Yes. With Mark Wahlberg. Yep. She was a good lady in that. She was. Pushing she was. him. Pushing him. Um, but anyway, back to Doctor Strange, dude. So um, I checked well, you, it out before you. What would you think yeah. about it? Well, I was going to – one more fact that I completely would disagree <laughs> with as far as Doctor Strange to go. Like another casting fact is they were going to go for Joaquin Phoenix to play Doctor Strange. Oh, God. Uh-huh. I guess Benedict – Cumberbatch was the first pick, but he was the second pick. He would have been horrible. <clears throat> no, man. I don't like He's it. He's a weird guy. I don't like it. I respect him as an actor, but I would not like him as Doctor Strange. Tom Cruise, I think. I, I read something. I don't know if it's like a stupid, um, you know, BS site, but I read something that like he had interest or, you know, I, I, I can more see Tom Cruise as Doctor Strange as opposed to, uh, Joaquin. Yeah. You know? That's me though. Because he has like a wittiness to him, you know? Mm-hmm. He has like that sarcastic kind of. Yeah, and the look. Like, Joaquin just does not look like Doctor Strange. No. You know? Here's a funny thing. Um, Who has a more epic goatee, Doctor Strange or Iron Man? <laughs> yeah, I think Doctor Strange has got it. They both got some interesting. Uh, they got the facial hair. <clears throat> yeah. They look I alike. About the, that's going to be popular this year. The yeah. Doctor Strange facial hair. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But he's but, a cool... Mm-hmm, go ahead. <clears throat> I was going to say, overall thoughts on the movie, like what you were asking me before I said this useless fact. <laughs> mm-hmm. I liked it. I, I At first, I was sitting in there, and I was kind of like... It was slow to pick up, which I understand because they have to lay down the groundwork and they have to say who he is and stuff like that. But the minute they he got to meet like the... Um, ancient one and he started that whole process and stuff like that and they he started being like uh snarky and like um you know like just being broken down and then he starts kind of getting back on his feet again and then he gets uh like into the actual role and accepting the fact that that's who he is then it started to get like really good so i guess like the first part i was like you know uh, all right. Is this going to get better? Me and Leanne, we're looking at each other like, okay, like, where's this going? Especially doing like the whole mystical thing. We're looking at each other like, is this going to be like a, just a weird trippy ass movie like that? But it really started to pick up and we were laughing. There's a lot of points where we looked at each other and we started laughing out loud. And, and that was, I think that was a good kicker for the movie. Hmm. My favorite part is like, not to spoil anything, was that fight scene. Probably when they, they keep going in and out of the hospital. Hmm. Like that's, that, that was really <clears throat> pretty funny for me. I was they did play a lot of humor with a lot of action, which was good. I was like, where are the Ghostbusters at? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, I liked it overall. I, I would put it up there and as far as one of the top um, Marvel movies that I've seen. And um, I was thinking to myself, when I walked out of the theater, I was like, okay, is that a movie? Like, I could watch Iron Man. If Iron Man came on TV, Iron Man 1, I would sit and watch it again. It such a classic. I was trying to think to myself, yeah, I was trying to think to myself, like, if that movie came on or if like it was just on Netflix, would I like sit down and watch the whole thing again? Or would I watch it more than once? Cause Iron Man one, I've probably seen like five, six, seven times. Mm-hmm. And then I was like really thinking about it later. Like, yeah, I think I would enjoy watching it more than one, more than one time or multiple times. So yeah, I guess that's a good standard for me. If I'm going to take the time to rewatch the whole thing again, that, that is really good, but I like it as, as far as a Marvel movie would go. And, and I understand that you need this movie to set yourself up. I like you have a way better background than I do for as far as comic books would go and how this is going to set us up with the infinity war. And I get it at the end of the, the end of the we'll talk about later or spoilers. I, I get how, how he's connected in. And, and now I reading about the Easter eggs uh, for Dr. Strange. And um, I think this is an important, is this phase three or is this still phase two? Um, I think it's a uh, phase three. Yeah. So this is the first one of phase three, I think, or something, right? Mm-hmm. I think so. Uh, but yeah, I, it's cool. I, I like him as a character. I think he's probably going to be a pretty pivotal role, like you said in the comic books. And I think, uh, Cumberbatch is, is a good person to be in that position. Mm-hmm. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, he's a wicked powerful character, man. I mean, he's he's magic. He's a sorcerer. So, like, how do you, like, fight magic? You can't physically fight it, you know? So, he would, like, Doctor Strange would wreck, like, so many, like, characters. Like, the Avengers, you know? He's he's up there. Like, he's really, really powerful, you know? Um, but, um... Yeah, I'm happy with the, what, with what they did with the movie. Um, they didn't like cheap out with him. They paid good homage to, to the character. Um, it introduced Doctor Strange to like millions of people now, you know. <clears throat> um, I'm sure it's going to have his own like trilogy if they're smart. I mean, and I already did read that they're working on a sequel and they're going to have this character called a uh, nightmare and nightmare is like this, like, um, he's this entity, this being that rules like the nightmare dream world and he's like all you know he's green he has pale skin with black hair and whoever they cast for that's going to be pretty cool i was thinking maybe willem dafoe um if you if you google nightmare dude it looks like willem dafoe <laughs> looks like scraggly looking. William dafoe. <laughs> yeah he's scraggly looking and that's going to be interesting um but to just, just to talk about the movie with no spoilers um i liked it i i thought it was <laughs> right on the cusp of being a little slow. Like it wasn't slow for me. It was getting there. But, and then once it started going, um, I, th- I, I, I liked it a lot. It had, it, it had humor. Um, some of the things that stood out to me were the effects. I thought it had the, the, they did not cheap out any effects. I thought they were like amazing. Um, they didn't look hokey. They looked so legit. And you could tell that they put a lot of attention into the effects. I think it's the best effects out of all the Marvel films. Um, Man actually got kind of like vertigo from the, one of the scenes. She literally had to like a look away from the screen. <clears throat> it was trippy, man. I didn't see it in 3D. Um, Don told me to go see it in 3D. And even watching it in a, on a red, regular di- digital screen, um, it was, it was, it was crazy. It was, to me, it was like the mystical matrix, you know, it was like so trippy, you know, that a movie can make you feel, you know, you feel like you were like Trent going through whatever portals like with him. It was so well done. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later, some of the effects, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just going to give it, I'll letter grade it right now. Like for you guys listening, I'm going to give it a, as much as I like that, I can't give it an A. I mean, but because A is, you know, A and A plus is perfect. I didn't think it was perfect, but I'm gonna say it was a B plus, and it's damn near perfect. You know, it was it was just really good, worth it. Take it, and I will be buying it. What about you, Brian? Yeah, I would agree with you. Definitely, um, like B plus is where I'd put it. You know, <clears throat> would you put uh, first Iron Man as an A? <clears throat> First Iron Man, um, I probably graded it on this podcast and I probably, did, con- probably. contradict myself, <laughs> but, um, sure. Yeah. I would give it an A because I think Iron Man was a perfect blend of humor, action, entertainment. It was just so well done. It was so well done. You know, it's not A compared to like Silence of the Lambs, like two different kind of movies, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But for superhero entertainment, it was, you can't ask for more. You know, but, um, so I guess, uh, do you want to get into, uh, yeah, spoilers? Let's talk spoilers. all right. So for you guys, listen, we're going to just talk about the movie. If you've seen it, um, already just stick with us. If, if you haven't seen it, I don't care. Stay with us as well, but we're just going to talk about it. So here we go. Um, but before we get into spoilers, dude, um, what'd you think about, uh, the actors? Did you like, uh, Cassilius, I think was his name. He was the Is one with know? the, with the glass, the, the purple glass kind of eye thing going on. I think he's a perfect bad guy. Yeah. He, uh, Matt Mickelson, played... I like him, dude. Yeah. I think he's, he's like, he's like your, <laughs> if you had a lineup of, of villains that you needed to pick, he's like the guy and you don't even have to put that much makeup on him. Like he's, no. <laughs> he's ready to go. <laughs> dude, he was in, um, Clash of the Titans, the remake. Yeah. He was the badass soldier and he was in his I movie. He's, I heard he's Hannibal too. He's Hannibal, yep. And yeah. uh he's also in this movie that I like called Valhalla Rising. And it's the same director as a uh, Drive and um it's a very violent weird movie. Um he's the lead in that and he's underrated to me. I like him a lot. I like him a lot, but I don't think he'll ever break out of just being like a villain, you know. 
Who who's gonna do you know from the comic book status who that Mordor guy is gonna turn into? Yeah, uh, his buddy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's the one the the one black guy is uh the one that was uh kinda his mentor. Yeah, who and, who's he gonna <clears throat> he's gonna turn into like a villain, like is yeah, he gonna he's, turn into a character? Is yeah, Mordor gonna be his character? Yeah, he's basically Doctor Strange's like arch nemesis. Like he's a sorcerer like on par with him. And um you know how like Green Lantern has Sinestro and he has his yeah. yellow ring and Superman got Bizarro, like, you know, Doomsday. Well, he's like Doctor Strange's he's one of his main enemies, like Yeah. So, um and I like how they didn't rush it. You know, they they kinda I think they did it well where it was good writing where like um the motivation for him to turn bad. He was like disenchanted, like, you know, like the ancient one, you know, he was following her blindly, you know, like totally believed in her. And then he found out that she was sapping dark energy to stay alive. Yeah. And it just, it just jaded him. He's like, you know, like it was a really good way that they wrote that. Yeah. It wasn't forced. It didn't feel forced. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And, oh, you um, just spoiled the crap out of it. <laughs> well, we said, <laughs> give somebody a heads up. <laughs> no, no, no. We said we were, we we're going to do spoilers. Okay. So you said um, before we get into that, let's talk about this. Oh, well, they knew we were into the spoiler section. Sorry, right. guys. We already gave you the heads up. So you guys are already well, in the spoiler territory. how about like, if I say just story. kidding? Uh, just kidding. <laughs> we're just fooling you. Like, it's not true. Um, <clears throat> but he's a great actor, man. He did great. Uh, how about the, 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 the chubby Asian dude? He was funny, right? Yeah, he was the, good. The library uh, guard? Wong? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was, dude, I love when, uh, when he started cracking up. After like everything's demolished and he turned back time mm-hmm. and he like made a joke and he finally got him to crack up. That was funny. Yeah. Or like when funny. he said like Beyonce, you never heard of Beyonce. And then the next scene he's like listening to Beyonce on his headphones. That was mm-hmm. good. There's a lot of comedy <clears throat> between the two of them. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, Benedict Cumber, Cumberbatch, uh, I'm, I'm switching now. Bach, Batch. I'm just going to say Batch now. Um, I think he did a great job, man. He had, he had a, he had good charisma, you know? He does. That's a good role. way to describe him, charisma. Yeah, that's what he has completely. He was a douche. Yeah. He was such a cocky, like, a-hole, man. Yeah, he got humbled. <clears throat> he did. Dude, that accident was horrific for, like, a, a comic movie. I was like, whoa. Like, I never want to get into a car wreck. That was terrible. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so that's what he gets for driving them fancy sports cars in the rain while talking on the phone distracted, reading MRIs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, um, you know what I liked about um the uh the movie um effects wise? So I liked um Doctor Strange's uh how do I even word this? His um like his magic weapons, like the 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 energy weapons, the shields yeah. and the things like that. I thought that was like really well done. It looked good. I didn't like the bad guy's weapons. I thought that no, mirror, like clear glass glassy mm, shit was weird. stupid. Yeah, that did right? look weird and stupid. It, it just, it, it's like, it was, I'm going to stab you with this icicle, you know? Yeah, it was, I don't know. I don't know if they cheaped out on effects, but that's one thing I didn't like. I, I just, I didn't care for that. It looked like cheesy. No, I completely agree with you. So I got my thoughts on this guy. Um, I'm familiar with him, but the main villain, Dormammu, uh, what'd you think about him? Like, how he looked and just cheesy. I I mean like <laughs> super cheesy. <laughs> when I got up there, I guess like they I I understand what they were trying to do. You know what I mean? Like when he gets up there and, and they're trying to like show him as a being, but he's not really a being. So I, I understand like probably the the graphic design department was like holy shit. Like how do we do this? Like how do we show this? And I'm not sure what he looks like. I should Google what he looks like in the comics. To be honest, but he looks I thought nothing he lo- like that. <clears throat> no, he doesn't. Let me. Um, Dude, he looks up. nothing like that. He looks like Ghost Rider almost. He's got um, a cape. But I, mm-hmm. I thought it was cheesy. Like I was kind of shaking my head and yeah. <clears throat> I don't like it either, dude, but here's the he thing. He does look badass. Yeah, he does. He looks like a ghost, bar, or, um, ghost rider. Yeah, super badass, dude. And it's cause like he, bro, Dormammu is like, you know how Thanos is this big deal? He's, he can whoop Thanos' ass. Like he's one of yeah. the bigger, like 
super, super powerful beings in Marvel where he's even battled the, he's battled eternity. You know how like you have the concept of time? Yeah. A death, eternity. Well, like in Marvel, in the comics, these, these concepts like, they're like beings as representations of them. He's defeated eternity. Like he's like so powerful. He's like a super dark Lord of like a dimension, multiple dimensions. So honestly, he's so strong. Like all the Avengers could fight him. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so I don't know how they're going to mix him with the infinity war and mix him with Thanos. Um, but I was disappointed. That scene was cool though. What? When he's just like, all right. I'm going to bring time to you. And then he keeps repeating time and he's getting <laughs> killed. And he eventually just pissed him off to the fact of like, okay, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll let this end. If you just let us live. That was yeah. smart. That was I got really something to say thing. about that. Um, but just on his design again, I think, um, possibly in the sequel, they're going to show the true representation of him. Cause he was just in his dimension and maybe he yeah, just was energy. It's hard to, I understand what they were trying to do, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like show being, but not show him, you know. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't care for it, dude. I no, thought it was it, just they, they, they cheaped out on him. I was like, man, he's so powerful and a big deal that you're gonna make him a big face in the sky. Yeah, was, they could have did a way better job. He wasn't menacing to me at all. Like it was like, wow, a big pumpkin face, like <laughs> like lines. I, I don't know. Yeah, but <clears throat> that one scene where Strange reverses, you know, he makes a time loop. Um. That cracked me up, dude, because he kept popping up and saying Dormammu. Yeah. <laughs> and that one line, Dormammu, I think he said, I want to make a bar, uh, I want to bargain or yeah. something. But he, him, dude, he said Dormammu like 10 times, Dormammu. And like, he comes o- like over like the, the hill or whatever it was yeah. and lands again and lands again. And I was thinking about that scene, dude. I was like, you know, he could have been doing that for a thousand years, right? Yep. They didn't really like, uh, you know, tell you how long he's been doing that. I mean, but since he was doing a loop, maybe it was like a hundred thousand years he was doing that over and over and dying like repeatedly a painful death. Right. That's heroic. Just to save the world, you know? <clears throat> that is some heroic crap right there, man. Um, it is. It was smart to beat the being like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It wasn't forced. It wasn't like a, that was good writing. It wasn't like shitty writing, you know? But my thing is, if you have this super dark Lord, Bri, um, we're talking about an evil entity, dark, wants to consume everything, you know, all, worlds and everything. Uh, uh, something like that's going to honor a bargain? I, dude, that's I know, true. I know regular people that will just be like, screw you over with a contract, <laughs> let alone, let alone a freaking dark entity, you know, that's going to be point. like, okay, hench, pinky swear. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to consume the world. Like, just just like, get me out of this time loop. I got you, buddy. No, <laughs> he's going to be like, ha ha, tricked you, and then just destroy everything. The the movie wouldn't have a happy ending, though, Dave, if that happened. Yeah. It needs a happy ending for a Marvel movie. See, uh, that's the the writer in me picks that apart, you know? Like, I'm <laughs> like, that's that don't make any sense, you know? But I haven't made any, like, masterpiece works i haven't got anything options so what who the hell am i you know <laughs> you're <laughs> but still was, doing it still getting it out there yeah man. Still yeah getting it out there yeah I'm, so what do you think um cg let's talk cg scenes that first one uh, uh like where they she kicks the spirit out of him and then she sends cool. him into the spirit world that was crazy <clears throat> that's a crazy and there it was trip. all yeah awesome looking you know like it didn't look like cheesy mm-hmm. um Special effects, everything looked to be very realistic. How about like when he has the hand and then he has all the other hands grow out of his hand? Freakiest freaking scene I've ever seen in my life. Yep. It was the, dude, it was disturbing looking. It was weird. Yeah. His like hand and then it turned into other little hands and then little hands on and like coming out the tips. I'm like, ugh. That is gross looking. Like I would have, if I was him, dude, I would have lost my mind. That would have mentally yeah. broke me. Like, Crazy, crazy. Um, <clears throat> what are the scenes you like, dude? Did you like the fighting when they were like, um, oh, how about, um, I think it's called the cloak of levitation. That's like one of his like trademark like things. That like was cloak. awesome. That thing yeah. was cool, dude. Yeah, it, had, it, was. it, had it was like a little bee, you know? 
It did, yeah. Like when he was uh, fighting, what's the main guy? I don't, I don't remember the main uh, guy's name. Scott, um, Casilius, I think. It, yeah, and he was trying to go grab an axe off the wall, and I kept yanking him over, yanking him over, yanking him over, and finally yanked him over to the thing, mm-hmm. and he grabbed the little trap and threw the trap at him. <laughs> That's like his Jarvis, you know? Like yeah. Iron Man got his, you know, um, his armor, but um, yeah, it was cool, man. And it like blocked some strikes. It like reached out and I think mm-hmm. Scott Atkins went to hit him with something and it like stopped him. And then it like wrapped around his head and was beating him up. Yeah. That beating him on cool. the head with it. That was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. So that, that, um, cloak is in the comics and it's really durable. Um, and I think they, they, uh, dude, honestly, um, if I'm not mistaken, they actually, um, portrayed how he got the cloak to, almost to a T. Because he was okay. fighting in the comics like that. He crashes into something and then he releases it and it shows him. Remember how he was saying that it'll just come to your, your artifact? Yeah, your artifact has to choose you. And then that amulet he had on his chest. I forgot the name. The Eye of Something. Um, that's also a trademark strange thing. And um, that was pretty cool. Yeah. It was pretty powerful. I did hear that it paid really good homage. I liked it. And the scene I liked was that whole fight scene. That was my favorite part of the movie when he, they broken his spirits or he went in the hospital to get fixed and then he comes out and then he goes back in and then uh, he's like fighting around the room and she's like trying to you know like revive him and pull the blood out of him and he's like getting thrown around the room and she doesn't know what's happening and he keeps uh, going in and out to show her that was that was funny mm-hmm. and then at the end he's like I'm just gonna leave through the t- the time portal that's in this laundry co- or janitorial closet mm. Dude, I thought um for PG thirteen, his wound was pretty uh gnarly. Yeah. Like that big chest gash. I was surprised they showed that. That was like crazy looking. So I'm getting sad. How about the final fight scene, like in the city with the ancient one? That one. That was pretty badass. Yeah. Yeah. That that's where like badass. that's when Leanne had to look away. Was when the f- city was folding on itself. Yeah. Made Inception. Made Inception look like shit. Look like peanuts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that. I said, whoa, this just like crushed Inception with the whole flipping city thing. Yep. I was never really impressed with Inception that, with that anyway. I just, I thought. That's what Inception should have done. Was that. Yeah. For a dream movie, dude, I think they, they definitely missed the mark with that, you know? The, the possibilities were endless, endless for like effects, but I, I like Inception. You know, I can't hate on it too much. Um, what else in the movie, dude? Anything else? I think I talked about everything that I wanted to talk about, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my my um my dislikes were Dormammu, the way he was uh, portrayed. Um, yeah, I agree with you on that one. The the crystal glass kind of weapons and mirror weapons, I didn't really care for them. And that's really about it. I don't have a whole lot to to say bad about it. It was great. Well, I got nothing. You got nothing to say about the storyline, right? I mean, the storyline I think is just fine. Solid, yeah. Paid fine. homage where I need to pay homage. I think it. Nothing felt forced. You know, mm-hmm. none none of the parts of the the storyline and none of the setups for the next storyline are felt forced. Yeah, did it you was... stay around for the after <laughs> the two after parts. I did. I saw one. I didn't see the other. I saw Thor drinking beer with him. Yeah. And but what was the other one? The other one was um what's his buddy's name? Mor Mordor. Mo- uh Baron Mordor or something like that. Yeah, so what he does, they show him and he walks in on you remember the guy that used magic to cure his his back injury so yeah. he can walk? He walks in on him and Mordo his name, my bad. Baron Mordo. Mordo. He walks in on him and he says, you know, too many magicians are out here. And not everybody, I forgot what the line he said, but something like, there's too many magicians and I'm, I want to take away the power of the, all, so many magicians out here that are selfishly using it for themselves. Mm -hmm. So he goes and he like zaps the energy out of the, the guy who's like using it to fight his spinal injury. Mm -hmm. And the guy all falls on the floor and like collapses. Oh, that's messed up. And then it like cuts out. So, so he took his, uh, ability to walk and stuff. Yep. Oh, man. Took his spinal. Fixes like his powers away or whatever, but that's what the after trailer was. Yeah, that sucks. But um, I think he's gonna be great with this in the sequel because he's a good actor. Yeah, and how does how does he fit in with the? He's that time one is one of the Infinity Stones, right? Um, 
Yeah, I think the amulet uh, that he has is one of the the is the time gem or something. <clears throat> I may be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure um, it is. So, um, and due to Infinity War, <sighs> I don't even know how they're gonna do it. It's crazy. Their budget's gonna be insane. It's like every people are Marvel... paying the movie. People are paying are paying enough money that Marvel's probably saving right now. <laughs> Yeah, probably. I mean, you put out quality and you're going to get the money back, you know, so, but it's, it's like virtually every Marvel hero. It's such a huge scale storyline, you know, great insanity. Um, I, 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 they're probably going to have to do it in two movies. Yeah. You know, that's what I think it was part one, part two. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Dude, um, have you, uh, changed in topic real, real short, real quick. Um, have you seen the trailer for Ghost in a Shell with Scarlett Johansson? No, I haven't had the chance to see it yet. That's did funny. you ever see the anime? I did. I saw it yeah. years ago. And the anime was, you know, like a classic, uh, really awesome anime, cool concept. And um, I, I don't remember. The, I haven't seen it in years, but I remember the gist of it. It was kind of like it was like an action anime with cyborgs. And the main story was about, like, maintaining your humanity when you're mostly a robot. Kind of like RoboCop type like story. Yeah. Um, and the, the movie looks for what it is. I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm going to check it out. Uh, it looks like it has action. Scarlett Johansson's hot. <laughs> That's a reason. <laughs> um, people, people are complaining because she's not Asian. Yeah. Who cares? That's like you know Matt I mean? Damon. They're getting <clears throat> crap from Matt Damon doing the great wall of China. Cool. Movie. Yeah. But, but, but look at the supporting cast. There are like so many Asian actors in it, you know? Right. So, I don't know, man. Um, whoever's you, complaining they, about it, go make your own ghost in a shell. Exactly. That's you know? the thing. They want the American, yeah, it sounds bad, but they want the American audience and the American audience is gonna pick Matt Damon, you know, and mm -hmm. pick Scarlett Johansson over somebody they don't know. <laughs> but you put yeah. really good supporting actresses like, um, a lot of different movies where they put them in there and, and they do a great job, like, um, Fast and the Furious series, like Han. Mm -hmm was a great supporting actor, you know, and mm -hmm. people loved him and people didn't like when he died, you know? You know who would have been smoking and, like, perfect for Ghost in a Shell? Lucy Liu. Yes. She was younger, you know? Yeah, she's older she, now. She, she might. Can't. Yeah, I was going to say she might be able to do it, but um, when she was, like, in Kill Bill, she would have been, yeah. like, mint, dude. Put her Charlie on a kind of... or something like yeah, that. Yeah, put her on a workout regimen, get her, like, muscular, like, super fit, and she's gorgeous, man, like... Not that her being beautiful is, you know, makes her perfect for the role, but it don't hurt. You right. Know? <laughs> Certainly doesn't hurt. Pretty um, don't hurt. Pretty don't hurt. Not one bit. Uh, but it looks awesome. I'm going to check it out. Um, and I just want to bring up one more thing real quick. Um, I saw Arrival and <clears throat> I'm not going to get into no crazy full review on it. I just want to say that I don't think it was a hundred percent. Uh, worthy on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, it was a solid sci-fi movie. Some will find it boring. Like, I'm just gonna be completely honest. Some will definitely find it boring. It is a very nerdy, like, sci-fi, sci-fi movie. It had a good message to it. I thought the plot was kinda convoluted. They were throwing too much in there. That's just me for you, for you guys who've seen it. And I, my rating's gonna sound crazy. I gave it a C plus. That's not bad. That's kinda like, average, decent. It's a Netflix for me and a rental. It wasn't a movie experience. Uh, you might catch some crap for that. Not for me personally, but mm -hmm. some I'm people probably. I'm sure I will. Okay, I'll give it a B. I'm going to upgrade it. <laughs> it's a B, but it was not a B plus or an A or A plus. I'm sorry. There's no way. Like pure, from a pure sci-fi standpoint, Interstellar was way better. Prometheus is way better. Um, Oblivion was better to me. I mean, but that's my opinion. T totally different movies. I know that. But if you want to talk about a movie that is really similar, Contact. Contact with Jodie Foster was way better than Arrival. Call me crazy. I'm sure people are going to snap and flip out. They're making a list. Cumber. Batch Cumberbatch, he said. He said <laughs> Arrival was C+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't pronounce Mordo right, you know, the, the Marvel nerds. 
<laughs> We're gonna just, get that uh, hate hit up, mail. Hit up Dave on Twitter to correct him on all this stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, I got what do you? What else you got, dude? Anything? That's it. Like I said, I haven't been able to catch up on too many movies lately, so I, I don't have any of the fresh uh, fresh movie news. Mm-hmm. I'm still trying to make it through Luke Cage, man. Yeah, Luke Cage is fun. I did a review on that for for uh for us for New Breed. Yeah. Um, but all right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap up one twelve. Uh, <laughs> I gotta be up at five in the morning. I'm Me not too. Sure Bri gotta be up. I haven't eaten dinner yet. Um, but uh. I'm glad we got this one in and, uh, thanks for listening guys. <clears throat> you know, please subscribe on iTunes. Um, follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, email us, new read film reviews. What is it? <laughs> new breed film 2014. reviews 2014 at gmail.com. New breed film reviews 2014 at gmail.com. And if I got it wrong, it's somewhere on the site on YouTube. That's what Just, it is. No, that's what it is. Okay. Right. Just give us some feedback and rate us on iTunes, please. Um, anything yes. you got, Bray? No, cool. we're just ramping it right back up, guys. So, uh, you know, if we haven't, you haven't listened to us in a while and we just pop back up on our news feed or if you're starting to listen to us now, uh, we, you know, we got 110 or 112 episodes in. So, uh, we're going a steady pace for a while and I, I gotta give Dave props for, for carrying it when I wasn't around and when Paulie wasn't around. Um, but we're just going to ramp it right back up now. So kind of tune in guys and we'll get, get back to, to giving now those opinions, those average Joe opinions that you guys are looking for. Not no hundred percent rotten tomatoes. Somebody paid off to put out some good scores and yeah. Dave will tell you to C. see, but we'll give you the average Joe opinion. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're not going to get a C plus on rotten tomatoes for arrival. You got it here. Like right. I'm going to tell you it was boring. <laughs> it sucked. No, no, it didn't. It didn't. Um, but, uh, don't forget guys. So the archived episodes are on YouTube and you're going to have probably about maybe 15 to 20 current ones, you know, but again, guys, thank you for tuning in and we'll be back with 113 until then take care.